this will be my review for my setups for May 24th. Cisco gapped up, did not provide a valid entry trigger there for me um, anywhere. Even when it came down to support after this huge sell-off, I had absolutely zero confidence this was going to uh, pop up after hitting this support down here and just collapsed on itself all throughout the day. Next up here is the Qs, QQQ. Gapped up, did not take a gap and go type of entry. Uh, missed this one overall, which is a good thing because it ended up being a losing trade. Came back down, tested my breakout level of the support. Came close to it anyways, gave a green over green break, and which triggered me in, and trailed the stop up once this trend broke and got a red below red candle. Uh, normally I would have stopped it out over here, but I was trying to be a little bit patient with this. It was the FOMC day, and uh, kind of expected a little bit of sideways action in the majority of the stocks, but uh, overall this one did not work out. Next up here we have some of the trades that did, did work out. MTG, Magic Investments, Indecision Candle here on the open. Uh, pipe bottom following right afterwards and green over green break above uh, my important levels that I watch and continued higher. Stopped me out just below uh, 1090, not a huge trade there, but ended up being a profitable one. Next here is MU Micron. Micron uh, gave a gap and go entry. Uh, consolidation, just kind of indecision here after the open for about 45 minutes. Initially pushed up uh, to about 29 and closed it out just as it broke back below. Um, Next up here is SKX Skechers. Skechers opened up and sold off pretty hard into my support level that I was watching on my previous video. Noticed some buyers there on the tape, took a speculative entry here, did not wait for a trigger. Uh, and it ended up working out fairly well. Rode it all the way up to the breakout level I was watching where it found resistance once here and the second one uh, confirmed resistance and did break back below. So Next up here is SYMC Symantec gapped up, came back in, put in a five minute hammer candle waited for a break above whatever range that was setting up, held above the low, and continued higher for a decent gain, nothing nothing huge there as well. Ran into this eight period exponential moving average uh, as resistance. Maybe a nice continuation up tomorrow, but we'll see. Next up here is ZTO. Uh, ZTO, gap down, gave a hammer candle. It was a red hammer candle, so not a huge size on this one, um, but it is a very cheap stock, so went ahead, figured it was worth the risk. Ran up, broke back into uh, the channel I was watching put in somewhat of a flag formation and continued much higher. This big, huge wick right here had me really excited, thinking it was going to continue running. Came back in and absolutely did nothing after that. Overall, ended up being a decent trade there. Uh, today, there were five winners, one loser, and one did not trigger.